every year this, this conference just um, absolutely amazes me. When we start organizing it, you wonder, obviously, you know, you start wondering about how it's all going to come together and how the workshops are going to go and how the, uh, the speakers are going to go. And uh, once again this year, um, it's been just, just amazing. And when we started to organize this, we started thinking about um, what we wanted to call this year's um, symposium. And uh, our, one of our brilliant leaders, Charlie, um, came up with the idea of the uh, ability starts here and uh, join the conversation. And uh, it, it really was a, a, a brilliant way to uh, characterize this year's um, symposium because I think everywhere I've gone, it's all been about conversations over the last uh, couple of days. And uh, we also had um, a couple of firsts this year. Um, we had... Um, we had two mayors take part in this year's uh, symposium, which we've never had before, and both of them new mayors, uh, with Pam Mood from uh, Yarmouth, who uh, some of us know um, as being a, a huge supporter of uh, people with disabilities, and uh, particularly around the issue of respite. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, she uh, uh, facilitated a whole bunch of uh, workshops for, for us uh, and a respite committee that we were involved with. And uh, she, so she went from one end of the province to the other and did a, just a fantastic job. And so she has a real uh, keen interest in disability issues. So it was great to have her here. And of course, those of us who uh, attended the, uh, uh, the mayor's meeting on disability before the election, um, you know, Mayor Savage spoke uh, quite eloquently about um, the need to uh, do a lot around the UN Convention, and we heard about that last night, so that was great. Our keynote speaker last night was amazing. Um, and again, the whole issue about uh, joining the conversation, uh, you know, he really resonated with so many people in the audience, and there were so many great questions, and the discussion was just, uh, just incredible. Um, and another first, I think, was I think it's the first time I've heard a minister uh, say that they wanted to join a rally. So uh, that was really uh, something to hear last night. Um, so last night was just phenomenal. And this morning again, hearing Dave Shannon's speech. Dave never, never, never disappoints. Um, we've been friends with Dave Shannon for years, and. Um, and uh, his uh, opening remarks were just uh, so impressive. And thinking about, you know, the whole concept of love in so many different ways and how if we could in our day-to-day -day lives, in our workplaces, you know, really think about caring for one another and really having a sense of um, who we are and uh, what we bring to the table. And again, last night, um, you know, we were challenged by Mr. Landsberg about, as employers, to to make sure that uh, we really do put out that word to all our employers that, you know, if you have an issue that needs to be addressed, if you need support in any way, that, um, you know, make our workplaces open for those conversations to happen. And unfortunately, I didn't get to many of the workshops today because um, there was a bunch of competing things happening. Um, with this rally tomorrow and this and that um, for me to uh, deal with. But um, from what I've heard from all the people that I have talked to about the workshops, they, they all went really well. There were lots of great conversations. I chaired the last one here on Access Acadia, and uh, the uh, questions were great, and the conversation was, uh, was really inspiring. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, coming again this year. And uh, we'll be back next year. And we haven't quite, quite fine-tuned the, um, the, the, uh, the, the slogan for next year. But we want to keep with the Ability Starts Here theme, obviously. And with this year being um, Ability Starts Here, join the conversation. Next year, we're thinking it's going to be Ability Starts Here, join the challenge. So, um, but we'll, we'll meet as a committee, and we'll, we'll figure that out. And uh, we hope to see you back here for 2013. So thanks very much for coming. I'm going to find this podium one more time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anne, and we all love you. Thank you very much for those uh, wonderful words and uh, summing it up like that. A little disappointed that you didn't attend all the sessions, but anyway, that's it. Um, Thank you very much for attending. I just have a few final comments to make I, uh, and announcements. If you have parking on, down uh, below, stop at the registration desk on your way out and get a parking pass so you can get out of this place. 
Uh, so that uh, that'd be great. Um, there, there's also a form on the way out if you're interested to uh, join um, Ability Works for the mental health series, uh, mental health in the workplace series, or watch for it on uh, on a website um, or more information to come. Don't forget, you'll be getting a, uh, an evaluation form in the mail, email tomorrow. It'll also be online. There's copies on the way out. Uh, please fill it out uh, and submit it. Uh, we will have a draw in a few weeks for uh, one night, all expense played overnight at uh, Rose Lawn Lodging in Lodges in Wolfville. So please uh, give us your feedback. Um, we have many people to thank, uh, almost too numerous for me to remember. Um, all our sponsors uh, were, were a great help to support the event and the volunteers that uh, that supported us, the ministers, deputy ministers and senior people who came took time out to come and make presentations. All our presenters, our interpreters from the Society of Deaf and Hard of Hearing Nova Scotians, uh, certainly Ian with the cart and thanks for both of you for putting up with the fun last night. I was wondering whether Ian really did get the Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers on the, on the thing, but I understand he did. <laughs> and I certainly want to thank um, AMI for being here filming and interviewing, um, Eastling Community Television for, for doing some filming, uh, certainly um, eSource events for all the help they've given uh, Patricia and, and um, the other person there, Jill, <laughs> and all that. Thank you very much. And uh, we have a prize for those that are left and uh, who stuck stuck with us. The problem is we don't have a very good way of um, of mentioning the cash uh, not particularly, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie would like to mention the Cashew Conference coming up. I'm not Cash for a Conference. <laughs> Cashew. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Thank, uh, don't forget the Kashra conference coming up, I guess is the message. We've, um, uh, Patricia figured out a way to do a draw without having people's names in a hat. So if your birthday falls on the International Day of Persons with Disabilities, you may like to come forward to select your prize. December 3rd. December 3rd. It, you have to know the days. <laughs> December 3rd. No one? One woman here. Hey! Just one is great. They should, that's great. Is just one? Just one person? Okay, great. It's a gift certificate from Pete's Boutique for some goods. Thank you for coming. I think I've said everything. I even missed some things I shouldn't have. But anyway, thank you for coming. It was a joy to have the conversations we had. And remember, ability starts here. Uh, have a safe trip home.